appreciate everything. All right, guys. So last time that we were doing this, we said we were going to start working on being able to display the data on the page and then styling it. So how do we do that? In this case, the way I did it was I gave IDs to uh, some unordered list. We'll st style these in a minute. And then I just kind of um, turned it into HTML and inserted the string. So in this case, our API, our API is now coming out. Now that's not very useful to us right now. So why don't we change this to city and then in here we'll put was there a city or a location yeah there's a city here we'll just put hashtag city, Oop, hashtag city and this is gonna target this ID here and then in here it's still putting our API but we want to go ahead and just support Glendale here so I, I try and keep the um, the variables in JavaScript the same as the IDs it's just easier for me to remember all right, so what th we want to do that for, let's see, the temperature as well. Uh, we may have to turn that into a button at the end. We're going to worry about that in the next video. But all right, let's just go ahead and start displaying our the things that we're going to need, and then we'll kind of work with it in a second. So we also want to know the weather type, right? Oh, and don't forget the um, quotation marks. Or it won't work, and then we'll go. We'll go ahead and go right here. We'll say, look, output this to the weather type ID. Excuse me, weather type. And now we're just going to go ahead and go to the other window. Say ID is equal to weather type, and you'll see that there's a clear sky right now in the city of Los Angeles. So. What else is there? We want to be able to see the temperature. So we'll we'll probably have to do an if statement in a little bit, but for the time being, why don't we just go ahead and target the Fahrenheit temp and then we'll do some stuff with that in a little bit. So we have F temp. Actually, let's set it up properly. Uh, Alright, we'll follow our convention. Um, it's going to do something a little different, but we're not, but I like to tackle things once, one at a time, so you may find going, getting just like the bare minimum for each section, like I like to do a little bit crazy, it just for me helps me just knock out one section I know I can do and then everything else will kind of work around it. So we'll just say that this one is our temperature and we'll go ahead and give this an ID of temperature. And this is again just some uh, basic jQuery. Okay cool so it's about 63.9 degrees outside. Now that's a pretty long number. Uh, I don't really want to even deal with that. So probably when we start cleaning this up we'll make that a decimal. The, uh, or, uh, excuse me, to like two places or one place past the decimal. So what else was there? Wind speed. All right, so we needed one for wind speed as well. Excuse me, my internet's lagging a little bit. All right, so we'll just go ahead and give this a title wind speed. And we're gonna have to go ahead and do it in here now. At this, at this point, We'll go ahead and this should be, once you kind of see this done, it's not too bad. So we're going to target the wind speed ID. And then we're just going to straight up output wind speed. So this is 0.88. I'm not sure what the measurement is, but I'll, I'll be looking that up in the next one. All right. And then finally, we, I believe that's everything we need. Now, what will we be doing in the next video? In the next video, we're actually going to create a button that's going to toggle F temp here. And we'll probably do an if statement to kind of say if hit if if Fahrenheit turns to Celsius, if Celsius display Fahrenheit. And um, because we already have the math done, we won't actually have to do it in here. We'll just put the variables in there. But uh, we'll be doing that in the next video. See you then, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.